I'm a landscape photographer, a full-time landscape photographer, and often I have to leave home and go to photograph different places, and the difficult thing, it's not the hike, the cold, the wind, the wet, or even walking through the darkness of the forest. The difficult thing is to leave behind this. <laughs> Now landscape photography, it's not only my passion, it's also my job. So today I'm heading to Chukash Mountains to meet with some participants. Uh, this is during one of my workshops and I'm pretty happy to see snow uh, right here because I'm pretty sure up we're gonna have a true spectacle. I've arranged transportation and the car from the chalet came down to pick us up and to take us uh, up on the mountain. As you can see, the car from the chalet, it's not that big. We are all there with the backpacks on. But as you can see, the atmosphere is pretty, it's a pretty good one. Even though there are some people that I just met and others I'm glad to see again. But the overall atmosphere that I'm trying to achieve with my workshops is to connect people right away and have fun. After we arrived at the chalet, I had to talk to the manager and arrange for accommodation. The big minus of that day was that it was a really thick fog and we didn't have the chance to go out and shoot the sunset, which I have to be sincere with you, I was planning to do so because I have a shot that I wanted to redo, but that is life. So we had the chance to catch up and to discuss some uh, aspects of the workshop and to prepare the hike from the next day. And also I had the chance to talk about editing techniques and of course enjoy some traditional uh, pork products if you want. Now the next day starts well, we have visibility, there are only few clouds in the sky and at this point we're hoping that we're gonna have a great day and that we've escaped fog. Of course that at some point I had to make a joke, there was a participant that left his camera on the bed and I made the joke that he slept on the floor and leave the camera there on the bed. We start to hike, and even though we are used to see the colors of autumn, it's a great thing to experience snow. We don't care about the wind, the cold, and the fog that is still persisting in far in the distance. Very quickly I see the first shot, and I really like how the fog surrounds the mountain, so I take a close-up, and then I move to a more wider shot and include also a foreground element. To our left we have a true spectacle of clouds and of course I can't miss it. At this point the hike becomes harder, and even though it's colder, even though it's much harder to advance and the fog is closing in on us, we're still having a great time, we are making some jokes and we are enjoying uh, this great day that we spent in nature.
it's not a dangerous place to be but if you're not careful you can easily go down a few meters in the snow so i'm talking to the participants to make sure that nothing like that happens also we are approaching a gutter that it's a little bit dangerous and we need to make extra preparations and to be extra careful um, as you can see the trail was on the side of the mountain on a rock and i wanted to make sure that no one got hurt Because of the really thick fog we had to stop the top of the mountain was surrounded in fog and i decided that it's time for us to just wait for a couple of minutes and to basically enjoy what we are seeing to maximize what we are seeing and at this point we are trying to decide if it's good to go up on the top of the mountain hoping to get something um, during the sunset or to go down and maximize what we have around the mountain so in the end I decided to go up. Even though there is a thick fog, this doesn't mean that we don't take photos. I really like this peak and this rock formation that I shot from the drone. And then I moved up and saw this gap into, between these two rocks and it looked fantastic. Now, at some point, I decided to, okay, let's go up. And the clouds just sent us a miracle, a light that came down from the sky and created these beautiful images. So at this point, I'm really confident and I know that something great is gonna happen during sunset. And I'm ready. And I'm waiting and I'm waiting and this happens so the Sun comes down below this cloud and these rays that come towards us uh, I mean what can you want more so we persisted even though it was foggy we had the the determination to go up and after these images we also get very, very lucky the next day when we had the chance of photographing the sunrise while the moon was setting. So <laughs> it was a really great moment. This was it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope that you'll subscribe to this YouTube channel if you're here for the first time and you'll continue photographing because it's the only way that you can get better. Bye bye.